As godly wives, we are called to be homemakers, respectful to our husbands, good mothers, etc. But according to Galatians 5, we are also called to put off our flesh and to walk by the Spirit. Now, if you are walking by the Spirit, you'll have these fruits. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. My name is Anastasia Hunu, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what those characteristics look like in our lives as godly wives, godly women, and homemakers. So without further ado, let's get right into the content. So the first fruit of the Spirit is love. And I want to share with you guys these verses from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 9. Actually, it's going to be 4 through 8. And it says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things love never fails now this is just an amazing description of what love is because in this day and age there's so many times that we hear about people that are getting divorced because they fall out of love with that person but if we can see here in the truth we see here in the bible that love is something that never fails love is something that endures long that suffers long and is kind that doesn't envy this love is a choice is to love that other person so i think love for us as homemakers is choosing to love our husbands no matter what despite mistakes or despite us arguing or going through hardships in our marriage no matter how much money our spouse is making we need to love our husbands which is choosing to love them despite anything going wrong in the world despite how hard marriage can be sometimes when you love someone you love them in sickness or in health you choose to serve them you choose to love that person and we think that love is this feeling that comes and goes but it's not that so i think that pursuing love especially in hard times is just an amazing thing to do as believers let's decide to love our spouse to love our children even in hard times even when they annoy us even when it's been years and years and years of you guys being together and you're just getting bored whatever it might be choose to love your spouse and to love your children and it's just a beautiful thing it reminds me of how god loves us god loves us even though we sin against him god chooses to love us even though you know all of us has done god wrong all of us has sinned against god there are people that spit on him that you know mock him and everything like that but god still loves us and he chooses to love us and this is the love that we need to have for our husband and our children we need to have that unconditional love the next fruit of the spirit is joy now what does joy look like in our lives now i know that people get this sometimes mixed up with happiness i think that joy and happiness is the same thing but the bible doesn't call us to be happy the bible calls us to be joyful in every occasion and that the joy of the lord is our strength now having joy means to have joy and contentment in every situation even if you know you're not making the most money maybe you don't live in the nicest house you don't have the nicest things maybe there's some turmoil happening in your marriage whatever it is but having that joy is just going to be amazing especially us being joyful as homemakers is such a blessing to our marriage especially when times may be hard financially this is an example let's say our our husbands um aren't doing the best financially and a lot of times our husbands carry a lot of stress on their shoulders because they're worried about taking care of their family right providing for their children and they're worried about how great they want to be and how and working hard for the family and i think it's so important for us as homemakers as wives to have that joy and to be that light in your marriage it says in the bible that the joy of the lord is our strength so just being joyful in marriage is so important and it's so amazing to have this fruit of the spirit have joy no matter where you are no matter what season you are in your life remember that you can have the joy of the lord and that can be your strength and i think that us having this as women can be such a blessing to our marriage 
The third fruit of the spirit is peace. Now, I think it's so important for us to be peaceful as wives and homemakers because it says so many times in proverbs that it's better to be in the middle of the desert it's better to be in the corner of the roof than be with a contentious wife than be with a wife who causes strife and nags her husband whatever it is let's be peaceful as wives this is something that we can all work on as wives is to be peaceful our husbands love coming home to a peaceful home they love when we bring them more peace and i think it's so important as wives for us to carry this trait we should be peaceful and if we're walking by the spirit then we are able to do that it says in the bible that god has peace which surpasses all understanding how amazing and how peaceful is that so if you are having trouble with peace in your marriage maybe you're causing a lot of strife and you know it i would ask god to help you be more peaceful ask god to give you that peace that surpasses all understanding i would ask god to help you to be slow to anger and to help you to not nag your husband there are so many things that we can ask god for for help and i truly believe that when you pray and ask god for help with these things that he will freely give it to you it's a, it talks about it multiple times in the bible that when we pray and ask anything in his name that he will give it to us especially things that are according to his will it says right here in the bible that we should be these things so god will definitely bless us and help us so i seriously think that having peace and being peaceful is going to be such a blessing to our husband such a blessing to our life and i've spoken about this multiple times but man men love peace so just be that peaceful woman don't nag don't be angry when he gets home from work be peaceful and he will be blessed he will love that and he will realize wow this is amazing so i think that's a wonderful characteristic of the spirit the next fruit of the spirit is patience now this can be hard right it's it's hard to be patient sometimes but it's so worth it it says right here in first corinthians that love is patient and kind love is patient and if you love your spouse if you love your children then be patient with them there's times when they're gonna annoy you there's times when they're gonna do things that may hurt you but be patient with the people that you love it can bring you so much more joy when you have patience because there's some things that just require patience another example of this is how we should be patient with our husbands in submitting to him so many times that we want to but in we want to make decisions for our family we want him to follow us but bible specifically says that we need to submit to our husbands and we need to allow him to lead allow him to make decisions for our family and that takes patience and a lot of times it takes us to step back and pray about it and pray that god will speak to our husbands pray that our husbands make the right decisions but it takes a lot of patience for us as wives to do and when you can practice that patience you'll see that a lot of things will get a lot better and it's something that i'm working on a lot all of the fruits of the spirit are something that i'm always working on i've realized especially in my life that having patience with my husband has been such a blessing in our lives when i have patience and when i just wait on god's timing and have patience with my husband and allow him to lead our family long term wise a lot of things are a lot better so just practice your patience it's going to be so beneficial for your marriage and for your life to have patience another example of this could be let's say your husband left a sock next to the hamper instead of being fast to anger and being like i told you to pick up your sock and put it in the hamper you could say hey baby um you left your sock on the ground maybe next time if you could please just put it in the hamper or just go and get the sock and put it in the hamper yourself and just have patience right because if your spouse most of the time puts the clothes in the hamper but let's say a couple times like he missed the hamper or whatever it is you don't have to get all mad about that you can obviously you can respectfully talk to your husband and say hey babe i think you missed that or whatever it might be but if you have patience a lot of things will be better the bible also calls us to be patient so i think it's just a beautiful thing to have the next fruit of the spirit is kindness and according to proverbs 31 which if you haven't read proverbs 31 you should definitely go and read it according to proverbs 31 one twenty six. it says she opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness now i think that is such a beautiful way to put that it shows how kind she is she was a very kind person and i think that this is a very wonderful trait to have with our spouse and our children 
in this world i see so many women on social media just being rude and disrespectful to their husbands and actually you know putting things out on social media like i will never clean for no man or just being very rude to their husbands on video and a lot of times on social media it just doesn't seem like they're very kind to their man and i think it's so important for us as spouses for us as wives to be kind to our men like actually just be kind to your husband and you don't have to act like he's such a burden you don't have to act and be disrespectful to him for no reason right and it happens a lot of times and i see it a lot of times i think it's so amazing for us to just be kind to love on them and to be a blessing to their lives and i think that this is something that we could all work on is just being really kind to our spouse be really kind to our children i think this really comes out of a heart of love and gratefulness and intention just be intentionally kind to your spouse i think it's such a beautiful trait to have as a beautiful feminine christian woman is to just be kind and you know what it's like to speak to a woman who's not kind we've all spoken to someone who wasn't kind before right and you always have a bad taste in your mouth after that you don't feel good when someone is unkind to you it doesn't feel nice so i highly recommend to just be kind to your spouse they'll probably love it the next fruit of the spirit is goodness and I think that us as homemakers, us as wives, being good to our spouse looks like having integrity, being kind to them, being a blessing towards them, living out God's laws and statutes in our marriage. I think it's so important for us to be good as wives. The next fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. Now, what does faithfulness look like in our lives as wives? Now, first of all, I think we're faithful to God, right? We are faithful to his statutes. We're faithful to following God. In our marriage, I think Faithfulness looks like being loyal to our husbands in public, making sure that we're very respectful to our husbands in public, not gossiping about him behind his back. Be faithful to your spouse. I've been in conversations with other women who talk about their spouse behind their back, who gossip about them and say bad things about them. That's something that we shouldn't do as wives. Obviously, it talks in the Bible about not gossiping as well, but especially, I believe that when you're faithful to your spouse, you're not doing that behind their back. Well, you wanna be faithful to them in every occasion, wherever you are. Be faithful to your spouse. Don't talk about them behind their back. I think that's such an amazing trait for us to have as wives, is to be loyal and faithful to our husbands. This next fruit of the spirit, I think is so important. Obviously, all of them are really important, but this next fruit of the spirit is gentleness. Now, gentleness is something that I've talked about a couple of times on the channel, but I think it's such an amazing trait to have. Being gentle is such a beautiful feminine trait to have. I know, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing for men to have as well, but gentleness is something that is such a beautiful trait for us to have as wives. When we are gentle with our spouse, we really just empower them because we have that really sweet and feminine nature. And it's very beautiful because it's a fruit of the spirit to be gentle. And which just means that the Holy Spirit is gentle in nature as well. And I think it's so amazing for us to have gentleness with our spouse, to have gentleness with our kids. The opposite of gentleness is being harsh. And a lot of us as women have that nature. We're harsh with our husbands, we're disrespectful, we're nagging them, we're doing all these other different things. But if we were just gentle with our spouse, we would be such a blessing to them. I think this is such a beautiful trait to have in a marriage is to be gentle with your spouse and i've talked about this before and i'm gonna have a whole entire video coming soon where i'm gonna talk about femininity and how i've been working on it inwardly but this is an inward character trait is to be gentle when you are a gentle woman it just exudes femininity Gentleness is something that I've been working on in my life in every single situation is to just have that gentle spirit where whenever I'm talking to someone, I'm just being gentle with them. When I'm talking to my spouse, I'm being very gentle, calm. I'm doing my best to be that way because I think it brings a lot of peace into our relationship. And I highly recommend that if you are in a situation where you're mad at your spouse or whatever it might be, when you give a gentle response, 
that first of all shows that you have the fruit of the spirit that you're working on walking by the spirit but it also is a very feminine character trait it's a beautiful thing to do to be gentle with your spouse and you'll see that they will have a different reaction towards you when you're gentle with them a lot of times because of the way that we speak to our spouse they'll have a certain reaction towards that. So if you're speaking to your spouse disrespectfully, a lot of times they'll, they'll respond harshly as well. But you can bring the best out of your spouse when you speak to them with a gentle nature, which is why it talks in the Bible about how we should love our spouses, right? It says that husbands be loving to your wife and wife be respectful to your husband. But it calls both of us as men and women to be gentle. So I definitely recommend having that gentle spirit in your marriage with everything that has to do with your spouse. Having that gentle spirit is just so amazing and wonderful. The last fruit of the spirit is self-control. Now, this is something that we can have in all areas of our life, right? When it comes to food and different things like that. But having self-control in marriage, there's so many ways that this can come in handy. First of all, self-control when it comes to how we talk to our husbands. When you have self-control, you're practicing being slow to anger. When you have self-control, you can tell yourself, okay, let me take a step back and let me think before I respond. When you don't have self-control, you say whatever you want that comes off your mind. And it literally says in a couple verses before that, that when you blow up in wrath, that's when you're walking by the flesh. So having self-control, you're walking by the spirit. I think that's so amazing. Obviously having self-control when it comes to temptation, knowing that you are loyal to your spouse is such an amazing trait to have in your marriage. Having self-control can stop arguments and it can just be a complete blessing to your marriage. Another thing especially that we can do as wives is having self-control when it comes to the food that we eat. The Bible talks about how our bodies are literally a temple of the Holy Spirit. It. and i think that it's so amazing to treat your body like a temple eat healthy things that are going to be nourishing to your body and this all comes with self-control and it's a hard thing to do but obviously you want to live a long life with your spouse you want to be able to run around with your grandchildren so this is something that we should do as wives is just be healthy and have self-control when it comes to food it is literally a sin to be gluttonous which is just to like be obsessed with food and to put food over God. And a lot of times we do that in our lives. So I highly recommend to just have self-control in all areas of your life. And I think that a lot of things in your life will flourish. Now, those are all the fruits of the spirit, but I did wanna share with you a couple verses from Galatians 6 that says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. And then in Galatians 5, it says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So there's a lot of evidence here in the Bible that says that we should be walking by the spirit and that it brings everlasting life when we sow in the spirit and walk by the spirit so i hope that this was a blessing to you i think that us as wives practicing the fruits of the spirit and walking in the spirit is just such a blessing to our life obviously every christian should walk in the spirit but today i'm just sharing pertaining to wives and what it looks like in our lives as homemakers and wives if this interested you or if you wanted to add some things to how this looks in a marriage then definitely comment below i'd love to hear your thoughts and if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe i'm definitely going to be posting more about faith femininity and homemaking so with that being said said guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys